Hello guys, this is Kudo and today in this video I will show you how you can set up Source Tree and GitLab with Unity. So let's get into it. So first thing first, what we need to do, we need to go on Google using Firefox, Google Chrome or Safari. I will using Safari and we need to create a GitLab account. So let's go to GitLab. So for my part, I already got a GitLab account. So let's go on GitLab. I will put a link on the description if you don't uh, find the website. Uh, go on the account. And basically, because I already got one, I just need to log in. But you just need to uh, register and it will be the same. So just sign in. So after create your profile and sign in, you will see if you got some projects. So I already create some project about um, using GitLab and Sostree. And um, what we want to do, we want to create a new project. So um, let's say it's your first project. So let's create a new project. What we want to do is to create a blank project like this. And you need to name it. So let's name it uh, YouTube uh, Tutorial V3. And uh, the description, uh, this is a tutorial about source tree and GitLab with Unity. After that, you can choose if it's public or private. For my part, I, I always keep my project private. So I will create this one in private. So let's create this project. And as you can see, I don't need this. As you can see, if I, uh, if I go back on menu here and I go on proj um, project here and your project, as you can see, all your project is here. So as you can see, we create this project like update just now. And when you click on it, you got a bunch of, uh, of file and you got a bunch of things. So each time you will create a project, you will got a readme. It's, it's called an initial commit. Basically, a commit is when you uh, upload your file in this um, in this area. And here we got what we call branch. And I will explain it uh, a little bit later. So um, after create everything, uh, second thing we need to do, you need to uh, again type uh, source tree. So um, I will put uh, also a link in the description to uh, to guide you if you don't find uh, the website. And what we want to do, we want to download it on uh, Mac OS or Windows, depend which um, which OS are you using? For my part, I already downloaded it, so, uh, so I will not download it again, but feel free to use it. And as you can see here, we got the branch, we got the name who is uploaded, um, we got the date and all the things um, that will be very useful by uh, creating our project. So after download the source tree, let's open it. So like this, as you can see, I got a bunch of projects not linked to my um, my YouTube uh, YouTube account because I'm a freelance and I work on different projects, so I can't show you what I'm working on. But um, what um, what we need to do right now, uh, as you can see, we got local, we got remote. Remote right now, I'm not connecting any account. So what we want to do, we want to connect some account. So to be able to connect some account, we will uh, reach for the three dot here and click on account. And as you can see, no account is detected. So let's add one and it will ask you which host are you using? So right now we are using GitLab and what we want to, to make, so to to put is username and password and the protocol will be https so the name uh, i'm using so your name you can find it here like this so i don't know if i can copy paste it because yeah i can copy paste this like this like this it's better so <clears throat> let's paste this and the password you should try um, the password you put on GitLab. 
I'm not sure it will work, so let me test it. And if it's not work, um, let's test another another solution. So as you can see, uh, source tree is not happy about this. So if it's the same case as me, to bypass the password. So what we want to do, we want to head back to GitLab. So let's click on our profile. Let's click on preferences. And what we want to look at, it's access token. So click on access token. And what you need to do, you need to create uh, a new token to be able to connect on source tree. So maybe you can put something like test, uh, put an expiration date, uh, maybe, maybe like 2032 will be very nice. Maybe the 29th uh, February and make sure to, um, to check everything. And as soon as you check everything, you need to click on create uh, access personal. So I, um, I already create um, a token and make sure to keep it because um, this will not be saved by GitLab. So make sure to keep it maybe in a key locker or uh, on a Word document or a note or something like that because uh, this uh, GitLab will not um, save this. So after you generated the, the token, just it will appear like this. Uh, it's a bunch of number and string. And what you want to do is just to copy uh, the token and paste it in the password field. So let me copy paste mine like this. And as you can see, I'm able to connect to my uh, GitLab account. And as you can see on source tree, we uh, he retrieve all the project I create on source tree. So the project we are looking for is right now is uh, the V3 of a YouTube uh, tutorial. So, so now let's clone uh, the project from GitLab into our computer. So let's click on clone and uh, it will ask you the destination path. So what I al always do is put a default folder for my Git. So let's broad this. And what we want to do, we just want to create a new folder because here it's all the default folder for Git for all my projects. So let's create a new folder. Let's call it YouTube YouTube tutorial, uh, tutorial Git like this. Uh, let's create this and let's put the clone the project here like this. And let's clone it. So there it is guys, so you just finished to clone the project and here you got the main uh, the main branch and the initial commit. So if I go on my finder and open um, the folder when I clone the project, as you can see, we got some uh, hiding um, git folder and one uh, yyml and the readme who is uh, who is in the in the folder so next step is to create the project uh, the unity project so for this let's uh, open unity hub let's uh, create a new project like this uh, okay uh, let's use uh, the 2020 uh, let's call it uh, test git YouTube and let's draw where to create the folder. So basically um, put the project inside the clone folder. You just clone the project from GitLab. Just select this folder and just create the project. So now my project is created and open it in Unity. Um, let's head back to source tree and let's see what is happening. So let's open source tree. And as you can see on the YouTube tutorial Git, we got 4,439 file change. So basically how this Git work. So let me open the finder or the explorer on Windows. Basically, each time something will change in this folder, each time it will be added on the source tree. 
So let's open it. So uh, click on it. And as you can see here, all the this is all the um, the file who has been changed, added or removed from the main folder. So because we are not using e everything, we'll use. Uh, a git in your to in your some file because we don't want to push everything on the git because some file is useless so um, i will put a link in the description where to find a uh, git in your so basically a git in your will be able to in your some file you don't want to push and um, where do you want to put the git in your so just uh, open the test git youtube and put the git in your here so let me copy paste one and paste it like this and let's wait for source tree to to rerouting and and that's it so to four four thousand four hundred and something we just put 27 um 27 file. So basically in the git in your you can in your a lot of things. So this is a git in your uh, custom for for unity. So let's open it and basically what is in your is all the um, all this kind of file. So very easy. So that will be the end of part one of this tutorial and I see you soon in the part two. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. So, if content equal equal to like or user learn something equal to true, user should thumb up plus subscribe. Else, user should dislike but help me to improve. Thank you and I catch you guys next time.